Hey guys, it's Mark with Beach Bluff Outdoors. Uh, I did an update video where I said that I was pretty much going exclusively primitive hunting. I'll probably still keep a semi-automatic handgun in my pack or on me. That's mainly for people, not animals. Uh, I'm going to carry a cap and ball and, and probably just a muzzleload rifle. That's probably all I'm going to hunt with anymore. Uh, and I'm big into fur trapping. We're working on building a primitive cabin out on the farm. Uh, I guess you could say I'm trying to get back to my roots. I, I'm burnt out with all the modern stuff. But if you've wondered about putting together your own muzzleloader from a kit, they sell plenty of kits out there, uh, Traditions, uh, Thompson Center. If you want to get away from the inline stuff, I've got a kit here. We're going to go through it, and we're going to show you at least how we do it and tell you what we think. So let's get started. So, the first thing is going to be the unboxing, obviously. I, I ordered this kit. Okay, let's back up. I had a good friend of mine, a co-worker, that gave me a traditional, it's a Thompson Center, or I mean a, a CVA, and you can see I broke, get out of the light, I broke the uh, bolster trying to get, come to find out this thing was loaded. Uh, it's in pretty rough shape, as you can see. It's pretty rusty. I was going to restore it, because I used to own Black Hat Gunworks, and I restored a lot of firearms. But, this thing was loaded. The barrel was very, very corroded, almost closed off, because um, it was left loaded. The stock is in really good shape. But about broke the bolster, the breech plug is crap, the barrel tang was missing. So, I, I kind of made up my mind that this is what I wanted to do. So, I ordered a kit from muzzleloaders.com. And I want to give these guys a shout out. Muzzleloaders.com. Um... Man, super easy to deal with. Their prices are great. And I really like this. Well, if you can see, the shipping tape was a Bible scripture. Uh, God shows his love for us in that while we are sinners, Christ died for us, Romans 5, 8. That is printed on their shipping tape. I just thought that was cool. So, when you order one of these kits, here's what you get. Packaging, honestly, was terrible. But that was from Traditions. That was not from Loaders.com. Uh, cheap plastic clamshell. But we're going to get this open and take a look at all the parts. Cheap plastic sights. We might have to rob those off that other CVA over there. New style trigger. The barrel is in white, so it will have to be blued. But it appears to be in relatively good shape. The wedge notch is already cut. The bolster. And the barrel plug. Hey guys, I am not happy with the uh, 
Traditions packaging. And as you can see, the wedge plates are already installed. Uh, a lot of the inletting is already done, but this stuff's got to be fitted. Uh, for instance, That's going to be cut a little more, but all in all, not too bad. Um, I've definitely seen worse. The packaging is crap, guys. The bottom of the barrel. Trigger guard. fiberglass uh, ramrod that's gonna have to go They also make a Kentucky long rifle right here, which will probably be my next project. Uh, I did a vote, and I think most people voted for the long rifle, but they were out of stock. And honestly, I like Hawkins anyway. The Hawkins style. So, what we got from this is Traditions Packaging Don't Impress Me. Okay. Some screws, the pieces that hold the ramrod, the lock, and the end cap. So, huh, where do we start? The wood will have to be finished, obviously. I got oil and stuff on my hands. I don't want it all over the wood. But that is not fitted very well. Oh, you can't see. That is not fitted very well right there or there. And it's really horrible there. It's that big gap. Uh, the lock The trigger is poor. I think you'd be a lot better off just to sit at the half cock, put your cap on, and I've never liked double set triggers. That could use a little work. Um, I think it may be a width issue on the inletting there. <coughs> but that's the lock and the trigger.
that's not even remotely close. To the right size. Not even remotely a good fit. And last but not least is the barrel or end cap. Very, very poor fit. This is not cut deep enough. Or straight, apparently. So, that's going to take some work. So that don't even line up. But, nonetheless. And the tang. Tang fits, but... Uh, it's going to take some work on the stock there. And there's an issue with the tang. Doesn't look like the uh, slot for the tang was cut deep enough. That's what it is. There's a little notch in here. Can you see? A little notch down in here that the uh, hook sits in. And I don't believe, I don't believe it's deep enough. 